In this video, we'll learn how to edit existing vector shapes in Illustrator. Before we begin, let's break down the components of a vector shape. And this applies to any vector shape, no matter how we made it. All vector shapes have path segments, anchor points, and sometimes control handles. Path segments are the lines in between anchor points, and those can be either curved or straight. Anchor points are the endpoints of path segments, and this is one place where a line might change direction. Some anchor points might also have control handles. These help line segments to take a curved path in between anchor points. To practice editing, I've got one of the demo files from this week open where I've used the pen tool to trace over a reference image, but these steps will work for any vector shape. To start, I'll click View from the menu bar and make sure my Smart Guides are disabled. I'll also bring up my Layers panel and just hide my reference layer for now. That way I can just focus on my vector shape. You can see that I've applied some loud colors here and I'll probably change those later, but these make it easier to show some of the editing steps we'll cover. We'll use the Direct Selection tool to select individual path segments or anchor points or control handles. That's the one in the toolbar that looks like a white cursor. I'll just go ahead and click to activate it. Right now, our vector shape is not selected, so I'll just click somewhere along the stroke, and that will show me all the line segments and the anchor points and any control handles near where I clicked. So all these vector components will be color-coded based on the display color of the layer that I'm working in, and I can see that right next to the layer name. So sometimes you'll see this in a different color, and that's just a way for Illustrator to help you distinguish what layer you're working in. Now we can just click on any anchor point to select it. Notice how it turns from hollow for unselected to filled for selected. If I'd like to select multiple anchor points, I can hold down shift on the keyboard and click more while adding to my selection. I could also click and drag a selection box around a set of anchor points, or shift click and drag to add more. If I'd ever like to deselect an anchor point, I can shift click individual anchor points, or click select deselect from the menu bar. I can also deselect just by clicking in an unoccupied space of the artboard. So if I'd like to make changes to the location of anchor points, I can simply select with the direct select tool and click and drag to move them around. I could also add or remove anchor points with some of the tools under the pen tool submenu. So I'll click and hold there to expose those. And let's select the add anchor point tool. So here I can add an anchor point just by clicking anywhere on a path segment. Notice that it doesn't change the overall shape, but it does give me another edit point that I could use to change the shape if I needed to. Okay, let's undo that by hitting Command Z on the keyboard in Mac or Control Z in Windows. Now, I could also remove an anchor point with the Delete Anchor Point tool. So let's go back to the toolbar and click and hold on our Pen Tool submenu and get that Delete Anchor Point tool. So maybe let's get rid of this anchor point. Now, I can see that changes the shape, but it still keeps the connecting path segment between the two adjacent anchor points. I'll go ahead and undo that, and I want to compare that to using the Direct Selection tool to select that same, an to select that same anchor point, then using the Backspace or Delete key on the keyboard. Notice that deletes the anchor point as well as the connecting segment. So just make sure that you're using the right tool for what you're trying to accomplish with your vector edits. Sometimes when we're selecting an anchor point, we'll also see its control handles. And those cause the adjacent path segments to curve. So we can adjust control handles simply by clicking and dragging on the round control handles with the direct selection tool. By default, those changes will be symmetrical. So when we move the control handle on one side, if there's a control handle on the other side, that will move along with it. 
but I could hold down Alt or Option on the keyboard while clicking and dragging to move just one side. Okay, I'll just hit undo a couple times to backtrack. If we'd like to remove control handles, we can use the anchor point tool. And that's under the pen tool submenu. So again, I'll just click and hold there to select the anchor point tool. With this tool, I can single click on an anchor point to remove existing control handles. Or if I have a control point without handles like this one here, I can click and drag and add a new set of control handles. Last but not least, we can use the direct selection tool to edit individual path segments. So rather than clicking on the anchor points or control handles, we just click and drag anywhere along a path segment to edit. So you can see that the anchor points are staying in place, but the control handles are updating to adjust the curvature of that line segment. Okay, that's an overview of how to edit vector shapes in Illustrator.